Hello, I'm Noma Anderson. This course is titled Witnessing Microaggressions. What can I do? Here are my speaker disclosures. Financial, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at the University of Vermont, and compensation from ASHA for this course. My non-financial disclosures are, I'm an affiliate of ASHA SIG 14 and a member of Inbosla. This micro course was developed as part of a series on microaggressions. Each course takes on a different aspect of the issue. This micro course focuses on the bystander. Here we can see what microaggressions are and the harm that microaggressions inflict upon the microaggressee. Too often microaggressions are seen and heard by bystanders, but no one says anything to either the person making the comment or to the person being insulted or marginalized. Why? Why would a bystander to a microaggression not say anything? One reason is that the microaggression can be so subtle that the bystander isn't sure an insult has occurred, or the bystander is conflict aversive. There can be a fear of reprisal. Unless the bystander is armed with practiced strategies to use in that moment, the microaggression may occur too quickly for the bystander to respond effectively. Microinterventions are the words, the actions of bystanders that validate microaggressive reality. Yes, that did happen, and that was a microaggression. Bystanders' microinterventions convey to microaggressives their value. Bystanders affirm the microaggressive's cultural identity. Microinterventions by bystanders support and encourage and reassure microaggressives. Intervening by the bystander educates the microaggressor and provides support to the microaggressive by making the invisible visible, by disarming negative words and actions, and by supporting and empowering microaggressives. Who are bystanders? Bystanders possess an awareness of racially biased behaviors and institutional policies and practices that are not fair to BIPOC individuals. Bystanders who choose to intervene are active bystanders. Bystanders feel that their actions can bring positive outcomes to the microaggressee and to the microaggressor. Bystanders have acquired a repertoire of responses to use when they witness microaggressions. And they recognize that fixing the problem often requires consulting with a third party. Bystanders don't discuss the impact of the microaggression on the microaggressee. Rather, the bystander focuses on the impact of the microaggression on him. I felt uncomfortable by it like we were drawing attention to a perceived difference. The bystander can provide the microaggressor with a different perspective about the comment, the microaggression. In this example, when the microaggressor responds to the bystander by saying, I was just trying to compliment her, what's the big deal? You reply, if I just met the team and had what I thought was a good conversation, you reply, if I just met the team and had what I thought was a great conversation, and the only thing one of them said to me was that my English was good, I think I may take it as a bad sign, right? Here are some resources for bystanders to learn to become active bystanders. We've explored the concept, and in the next activity, we'll review some examples.